Everyone said the cleaner stole it, so the boss asked her a question. Her answer made him feel sick. Lana Edwards hadn't had an easy life. She had gotten pregnant when she was only a teenager, and the father of the baby had left her to raise their daughter on her own. As well as that, her parents had been so disappointed in her that they had thrown the young woman out and told her that she wasn't welcome in their home anymore. Because of all of this, Lana was forced to look after herself and her unborn child. To do this, the young woman ended up not going to college and instead had to find multiple jobs in order to make enough money to put a roof over her head and food on her table. One of the jobs she found was working in her local shop as a retail worker, while her second job was to work as a waitress in a local 24-hour cafe. Unfortunately, both of these jobs only paid minimum wage, so Lana had to work as many hours as she could in the hopes that she could save up enough money to take some time off when her baby arrived and still be able to pay all of her bills. Eventually, the young woman's due date arrived and she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl who she named Hope. Despite the struggles and hardships that she had gone through, Lana didn't regret having Hope as she loved her dearly and wouldn't give her up for anything. The only problem was raising a child was expensive and Lana was a young single mother who had no clue what she was doing. The young mother ended up having to take roughly six months off of work for maternity leave. She didn't want to leave her child when she had only just been born as she wanted to bond with her and have time to experience being a new mom with an adorable daughter. As well as that, she didn't have the money to hire a nanny or to send Hope to a nursery so that she could go back to work. Luckily, she had saved up enough money to be able to get by and look after herself and her baby. For the first couple of months, everything was going well. Lana was settling into a new routine with Hope, learning how and when to feed her, change her, and simply enjoy spending time with her. Additionally, despite her parents throwing her out with next to no knowledge of how to actually survive in the real world, Lana was spending lots of her free time going to the local library. She decided to learn how to look after a home along with studying the subject she would have chosen to learn in college, psychology. However, on her third month of maternity leave, Lana received a very distressing phone call from her cafe job. It turned out that the restaurant had decided that they didn't want her back as they had found a replacement for her while she was on maternity leave. Due to where she lived and the fact that it was a minimum wage job, there unfortunately wasn't a law which stopped the business from firing her even though she had only just had a baby. Upset by the news, Lana began to worry about what she would do in terms of money. She still had a little bit left to live off of, however, with one of her jobs lost, she wouldn't have enough to cover all of her bills when it ran out. Then, a couple of weeks later, something even more devastating happened. Lana's second job as a retail worker called her and told her that they had also found a new employee and that she didn't need to go back to work for them. The young mother was beside herself with worry. What was she going to do now? There was no way she could look after herself and her baby with no money. Frantic, Lana began to search for a new job any way that she could. She used the computers at the library to search online. She looked through newspaper ads and even walked into shops physically handing out her resume, anything to find work. A couple of weeks later, the young mother finally got a response from one of the jobs that she had applied for. Lana was so relieved that she even began to cry a little bit. The job was for a cleaner in a very well-known and well-respected college. It wasn't one that she had done before, but she was desperate, and as well as that, the job even came with a nursery that she could drop Hope off at while she was working. The best thing about the job, though, was that it paid quite well, meaning that the young mother wouldn't have to get a second job to pay the bills. So, very nervous but with nothing else to lose, Lana dropped Hope off at a friend's house to watch her and attended the interview. At first, the interviewer was quite skeptical about the young woman. She seemed much too young to be able to competently complete a job like the one advertised. But as he sat and listened to Lana talk, he decided that he wanted to give the young woman a chance. She had had it hard in life so far and deserved a chance to prove herself. Lana was ecstatic when she heard that she had been hired. She couldn't believe her luck. 
the young woman and her new boss, a man called Henry, agreed that she would start in a couple of weeks' time so that she could spend a bit more time with her baby. It seemed like things were looking up for Lana and Hope. They would be able to keep their house and not have to worry about falling behind on bills. The time came for Lana to start her new job, and to say that she was nervous was an understatement. She had no clue how the other cleaners would react to her being there, considering that most of the students attending the college would be her age, but she was determined not to let it get her down. She needed the job so that she could provide for her baby, and nothing would get in the way of that. For the first few days that Lana was working, things didn't go so well. Because the college was so large, she often got lost on her way to the places that she was meant to clean. As well as that, the other cleaners, who were all much older than her, often acted harshly towards the young woman, being very condescending when they saw her doing something wrong. Finally, while most of the students didn't give her a second look, there were a couple of young men who often liked to make fun of Lana for her situation and made her job ten times harder by purposefully making messes and getting her to clean them up. But Lana was resilient, and she wasn't about to be pushed around by some bullies who had never had to work for anything in their lives. One day, though, a couple of months into her new job, something terrible happened. Henry's prized and very expensive watch, which he had left in his office accidentally, went missing. Lana was one out of two employees who often cleaned Henry's office, so immediately everyone began to blame her for the stolen watch. The rest of the cleaning staff claimed that she was the last person to be hired and that she obviously was jealous of all of the students who got to study at the college. They claimed that Lana was going to try and sell the watch so that she could go to college herself. Angered by all of the rumors, which he thought to be true, Henry asked to see Lana in his office. He demanded to know what she had done with his watch, at which point the young woman pulled it out of her pocket. Upon seeing that she actually had the watch, Henry became furious. However, what the young woman said next made him feel sick. It turned out that Lana had been just finishing up her shift the previous night when she had heard a strange noise coming from Henry's office. She had gone to see what it was and found the group of boys who bullied her breaking in. She saw them steal the watch and went to confront them, but upon telling the men to put it back, they told her that they would only do so if she would sleep with them. Henry was appalled and felt incredibly sick upon hearing this. Luckily, though, Lana continued to say that she didn't give in to their demands and instead told the group that she had actually been filming them the entire time. If they didn't give her the watch, she would show the police and also tell the officers about the group trying to blackmail her. Instantly, the boys had given her the watch and ran away. Henry was touched that the young woman had been so brave and risked her own safety just to protect his possession. He thanked her profusely but told her never to do it again as she could have gotten seriously hurt. Then he told her that, in return for what she had done, she would be able to study at the college for free and that her working hours would be cut back but not her pay, which he would subsidize himself. He wanted to give the young woman a chance at making something of herself, as she was clearly very bright. Lana was stunned. She never would have expected something like that to happen. She thanked the man profusely and told him that she wouldn't disappoint him. As for the group of boys, Henry found out who they were and immediately suspended all of them. What an incredible story. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content.